Hey everyone, it is Silly Man here. Today I will be showing you how to add proximity prompts to your game that will allow the player to interact with objects by pressing a key. So let's get started. I'm going to start by inserting a part into the workspace, and then anchoring it, and then resizing it. All right, and then I'm going to add an attachment to the part. So insert object, and then add an attachment. So by default, the attachment will be at the center of the part but we can move that up by changing the position property. So we can change this to 1.5, let's do two. And now the attachment is at the top of the part. And this is important because this is where the prompt is going to come out of when we add the prompt. So to add the prompt, we're gonna right click on the attachment, insert object, and then search for proximity prompt. And so this is the prompt, it's not visible yet, but it will be once we play the game. So there are a few properties we can adjust here. So first is the object text. So if this was an object like a door, we could put in door. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it blank. And then the action text, which is the action that the player is going to perform. So I'll just leave it at interact for now. And then there are a few other things we can change, such as the key that the player has to press. So by default, that is E, but you can change that if you want. And then similarly, this is the corresponding key for a controller. So for Xbox players, so you can change that if you want. I'm just going to leave it to the default, which is the X button. Then there's the hold duration, which is the amount of seconds that the player has to hold the prompt in order to activate it. So by default, that is zero. So the player just has to tap the key and it will perform the action. And then there's max activation distance, which is how far the player can be to activate it. And then lastly, there's requires line of sight. I usually turn that off. So when this is on, if there's an object blocking the prompt, it will not appear. So I usually keep this off just so that it doesn't mess with anything else. Okay, so now if I hit play, and go over to the part, you can see that the prompt shows up. But right now it won't do anything because we haven't scripted it. So let's go ahead and make a script. So insert a script into service script service. We're going to reference the prompt here. So local prompt equals workspace dot part dot attachment dot proximity prompt. And then we're going to make an event for when the prompt is activated. So prompt dot triggered that is the event that will fire when the player activates it. Connect function, then the player object. This is going to allow us to determine which player activated it. And then now we are going to write the code that will perform the action that will fire when a player clicks the prompt. So in this case, let's just make it so that it will remove the player's hats. So local character equals player dot character. And then to remove the player's hats, I'm going to do for i v in pairs character get descendants do if v is an accessory so that way we can remove the hats then v destroy i'm just going to call the script prompt and now if i hit play and go over to the part and i hit e it should remove the hat that i'm wearing there we go. And that is how you add proximity prompts to your game. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and I will see you all in the next video.